So one of the fun projects I had with my students was uh, getting them to think like this uh, using a sculpt uh, a sculpture, which is uh, out which is in the courtyard of the uh, the school where I'm located, where my office is, which is arts, technology, and emerging communication. And this sculpture was created by Jim Love. So, uh, yeah, the the, the surname his his name was Jim Love, and that's why it's called the Love Jack. And it's like a jack because when Love sculpted this out of um, junkyard materials and pipes <clears throat> he did so with the idea of uh mirroring what goes on when you play the game of jacks i don't know if you ever played that game but uh this is a very large jack uh, with no ball right being represented next slide and so i went th with through my students i went with my students through this exercise where we kind of looked and interpreted this sculpture through ultimately mathematical and computational thinking means. So we use the, the, the math and the computational thinking as a way to interpret this sculpture. So one way to interpret it is uh, that you've got a program. You create three cylinders. So you can imagine these being three, three cylinders on the, on, the, on the right side. I'm showing the love jack for reference on the right. You create cylinder one, two, and three. You color each cylinder red, and you place each cylinder. So I think we've all seen these sorts of instructions and lists. Probably the best resource for this is any cookbook that you have on your possession. Uh, cookbooks are awesome ways of looking at computational thinking in terms of understanding what a program is. Because in fact, when you make chicken noodle soup, you are executing a program. So it's just, we want to be able to, to sort of formalize this program. And this is one way to do it. Next slide. Another way you've already seen this concept map. <clears throat> Remember we saw the concept map for the tree saying, you know, trees are, have parts and branches are some of those parts. Well, this is a concept map um, of the love jack. So on the top left, uh, we have the love jack. That's the name of the sculpture. What does it have? It has three pipes. Each pipe rests on a square. So that I'm sort of taking this, this uh, diagram and looking at it from upper left to lower left right now. Um, and then each square is made of concrete but it's also on top of a grassy area, which is the ATEC courtyard. And the ATEC courtyard contains the grassy area. So this is, your, this is a second example of a concept map. This kind of structure is, again, used throughout all the major companies you can think of, Google, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Amazon, right? Every computer scientist thinks like this. Next slide. Now here's, uh, here's a kind of a different way of programming. You know, the first way I mentioned was like a cookbook. Open up your cookbook, it's full of programs. Now, this is a little different. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that we're gonna, we're gonna make a factory. And the easiest way to describe that is for me to describe the operation of a toaster. And then I'll get to this quickly afterward. So the toaster, two pieces of bread or one piece of bread goes into the toaster. So where you see the extrude box on this diagram, extrude, or you see paint, or you see join. Now these are actually functions. Again, math educators take note. They're all, all the boxes are functions. And um, getting back to the toaster, the input is the bread. The function is the toaster doing its thing and the output is the toast toasted bread uh, so we can look at this diagram of trying to recreate the love jack in the same way <clears throat> we take a kind of a, a circular thing here a cylinder a flat one we extrude it 
what does extrusion mean? Well, it's something done very commonly in industry. Every time you, if you take a look at some of the things you own, extrusion is being done by the factory or the um, assembly line in order to, to sort of stretch that out. It's been done by a machine. And it just means like what you do with toothpaste. When you take toothpaste and you squeeze the toothpaste tube, you're extruding the toothpaste. So that's all it means. So if we imagine these pipes to be like toothpaste, uh, the extrusion is taking the thing on the left and it's producing the thing on the right, which is the, is the pipe. Then these three pipes go into a painting machine and come out red. The three red pipes then go into a join machine and they come out as the love jack in the lower right-hand corner. 